Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to get the latest version of GIMP on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, 18.04 LTS, and its derivative system like Linux Mint and Pop OS. GIMP is the most popular image editor in Linux and perhaps the best free open source Adobe Photoshop alternative. Whether you are a graphic designer, photographer, illustrator, or scientist, GIMP provides sophisticated tools to get your job done. The project was first started in 1995 by Spencer Kimball and Peter Mattis. And also available on Windows and Mac OS. You can download this software from its official website. If you're using Ubuntu and its base distributions, GIMP is available on the Universe repository, so you can install it by simply typing sudo apt install GIMP on terminal. But I have to tell you, the package isn't up to date, which means you won't get the latest version as shown by running a PT cache policy GIMP. I know, Snap and Flatpak is there and offers the latest version. But again, a containerized package isn't for everyone, including me. I prefer to install GIMP using the traditional method because it's faster, lighter, and doesn't take up much storage. Well, maybe you are familiar with Auto Caseldulish PPA. But for personal reasons, the PPA activities are dropped for the time being. Thankfully, there's a new unofficial GIMP PPA created by Panda Jim that currently supports Ubuntu Vocal and Bionic. So, thumbs up for this. Before we start, I recommend you to purge Auto's PPA to avoid an issue. This can be done using PPA Purge. If you don't have it, run sudo apt install PPA Purge. Once installed, you can now disable the PPA and reverts to official packages. Now let's add the new PPA by running sudo at apt repository PPA Ubuntu Handbook 1 slash GIMP. Press Enter to continue and let the advanced package tool refresh repository caches automatically. Once added, now run this command to install the latest version of GIMP Image Manipulation Program and Greg's Magic for Image Computing, or upgrade it if you already have an older one. Well, this will take a while, so it's great time to grab a cup of coffee.
Finally, the installation is finished. Let's minimize the terminal window and run the software. That's it. A lovely new image manipulation program is now ready to use to edit in your photos, manipulating images, create a logo, meme, social network banner, and so on. As usual, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and click thumb up if you like this video.